Ollie Sox kicking towards the community stand at the high street end. Altrincham are in an away kit I've not seen before. It's all navy blue with a big yellow band diagonally across the shirt and yellow trim. We know for sure that the National League season, the regular season, is going to be completed here at the EBB this afternoon where we have this kickoff delayed by 45 minutes due to the late arrival of Altrincham following their coach breakdown near Oxford. Here's Jack Barham on the right side trying to get to the byline, puts a little cross in, it's headed away and on only as far as Glover takes it down on the right hand side edge of the penalty area, faces up his man, tries a little ball into Willard, Willard can't quite get it under control, plays a 1-2 into Frost, Frost out to Glover, Glover to Willard, Willard gets his cross in, it's flicked on, Cavan Campbell tries to take it down with, it, with his hand, Tyler Frost is on the ball, ball in the air, penalty area, doesn't quite come off, goes straight to an Altrincham defender and it's cleared out towards touch on this left hand side, can Regan Linney keep it in, yes he can. Uh, and he beats uh, Minoga initially, Minoga comes back well and uh, the referee, Gary Parsons, signals a corner to Altrincham and he finds Tyler Frost, who's buzzing to be back in that side, back in the starting lineup in midfield, such a versatile player and he has all the shot have his signature for next season and what a what a breath of fresh air he is into this football club. Absolutely, yeah, you can see there he was just, he was looking for the ball, going, finding it and looking to make an impact and yeah, I think he's definitely going to be one of the plus points. Deep cross season. from corner, it's a beauty. It fizzed in and then started to bend away from the goalkeeper. But neither Campbell or Byron could get onto it. Nothing wrong with the delivery at all, Steve, was there? Going to be able to get in fairly, fairly frequently this afternoon, which is easy for me to say. Is Harfield up the left, gets a little clipped cross in. Barham with the downward header just wide. And I think he's probably just about beaten Mort Gould in goal but it just agonisingly went wide of the post and Jack Barham still waits for his first goal here at the EBB for the shot. Aaron Bennett plays a couple of one-twos, the ball's been won by Glover, who finds Willard, who spreads the ball out to the left side to Tarvin Campbell, takes it under control nicely, he's to the edge of the area now, a step over, a skip, and then he's given the ball away and it breaks loose and it will be picked up by Aaron Bennett. Yeah, I, th I think both teams will be, will be pleased with their start and I think you'd hope a game where there's where there's very little pressure on either side you'd hope that they'd look to entertain look to attack have a good open game Harfield takes the free kick short to Ryan Glover who's going to send in a little cross Barham again goes for it with his head and he barely makes contact Tyler Cordner will retrieve the ball tries a little back heel doesn't really come off Altrincham will clear their lines all shot continued to build patiently oh give the ball away there and very nearly Zach Goodson got in but good recovery and shots come down the left hand side with Kenlock he plays it out to Harfield one touch out of his feet thinks about the cross doesn't do it goes back to McCoy McCoy assessing his options ball into the penalty area, looking for Tavon Campbell will he get room for a shot he can't quite get room for a shot he does and Altrincham get a good block on crowded penalty area plenty of ulti defenders in there making sure they keep the ball out. Good tackle from Barham, he doesn't win the ball, but it breaks free to Josh McCoy, who spreads it out to the left-hand side. Now into Campbell, can he do something better this time? Twists one way, then he goes back the other. Now he's facing up his defender, tries a shot from distance, and it's just wide, and looking at the reactions of uh, Matthew Gould in the Altrincham goal, that wasn't far wide at all. Here's Willard on the left side of the penalty area, shows it, comes back, shoot, comes, uh, blocked and it's there for Gould to pick up. Again, all the shot had Glover, Campbell and Barham in the penalty area. Number 10, wearing the number 27. And he goes all the way back to his keeper. And there is the referee that, uh, blowing the whistle. Four, Maidenhead nil. It's Torquay one, Wrexham one. You know what you need to do now, Torquay. You need to score two or three goals in added time. It's quite simple, really. But, uh, here at EBB, we're back underway. Shots nil, Robbins nil. All shot nil, Altrincham nil at half time. All shot now kicking towards the East Bank. The second half is pretty well populated this afternoon. Ball up to Jack Barham. He's pulled down by the Altrincham number 30, who is shown the first yellow card of the afternoon. And it hasn't taken him very long to get a yellow card, which is always taken quickly. Taken quickly, Ryan Glover, edge of the box, and the worst cross I've seen all season. 
which Jack Parham does brilliant to keep in. No, he's just gone out of play. Here's a one-two, edge of the box, shot comes in. Oh, it's hit the post and come out. A decent effort there. I think it was Regan Linney, Steve. Can you confirm? Yeah, thumbs up. Um, and the best chance of the game so far, and the closest either side have come in the 54th minute. Good crowds turned up, really, really good crowd. Nearly two and a half thousand here at the shots for the last game of the season. Now, on bank holiday weekend, here's Cordner battling away with Linney, who comes away with the ball, squares it to Bennett. Again, more gesticulations from Widrington. He's not happy, but all the shot won it back. Campbell picks it up, going on one-on-one -on -one against his man, trying to shot from distance, and it's a shot on target for all the shot down, but easy for Gould to deal with. 63 minutes gone. Up to Osborne. Both sides at times showing the ever endeavour still to try and get this. Altering have got it on the edge of the final third with Aaron Bennett. Steps to his right. Shot comes in. It's blocked. It'll come out as far as Lundstrom, who one touch takes it inside as a scuff shot. Oh my goodness me, it was scuffed and it was weak. And it beat the dive of Ashby Hammond and came back off the post, Steve. And very nearly hit him and went in. We'd love to have a look at Keen Anderson, wouldn't we, I'm sure. But uh, at nil-nil, I don't know if we'll see him. We might see Partington, Amaluza, Rowe or Ochieng. They're the other substitutes. Willard's got the ball on the left channel now for shots. Turns one way, then the other goes to Harfield, who's stuck out on the left touchline with not a lot of room. He goes back to Will Willard. Willard changes the play out to Tyler Corner on the right hand side. Go on, go forward, have a shot, Tyler. In on his left foot, he's going to have a shot. Deflection. And in! And he's done it! And we said he'd do it! And he's won everything you can possibly win at a football club! He's won the players' player, he's won the supporters' player, he's been captained by his country, he's captain in the team today, and he's going to finish the top scorer at the club unless Amaluza comes off the bench to score an almighty deflection. But in the 66th minute, all the shot town one, altering him. Still got the play with Glover, overlapping run from Frost, squares it to the far post where Harfield might pick it up and might want to have a go with his left foot. He finds Barham, Barham tries a shot, oh, almost squirms it in at the near post. Kenlock spreads it out to the left-hand side to Harfield. Harfield's going one-on-one -on -one up against Pringle. He makes room for a cross with his left foot, now he comes back out to Kenlock. Kenlock one touch, cuts in, he's to the byline, still got the ball, squares it across, half cleared. And I'm not even sure what the effort was, but it's gone wide, Steve. Offside flag's got up anyway. Oh, Will Altringham are in here on the right. Lulstrom pulls it back, shot comes out. Deflection, oh, it's wrong-footed. Referee looks to see if there's an offside, and there isn't. It's been given, and Aldershot have conceded with four, just over four minutes to go. And uh, Kenlock goes back to Ashby Hammond, who clears forward up towards halfway. There is the final whistle. The season's over here. At the UBB, six games unbeaten for Tommy Widrington. Tyler Corden with the all shot town goal. Final score one all. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.